when my twin brother Lachlan came out at the age of 27, it, it really changed my life quite profoundly. Lachlan grew up, uh, we grew up in a country town in Caston in Western Victoria and he hid his sexuality until the age of 27 from all of his family and all of his friends and you know I was one of his closest confidants and we grew up doing everything together so for Lachlan to come out it was a big shock to me and I had no idea about the struggles that he went through because he was hiding his sexuality, you know, suicidal thoughts, years of mental health anguish. And for me it was really educating people from then on in that, um, you know, it could be your brother, it could be your friend, it could be your sister, it could be your uncle or it could be your auntie who's going through troubles related to their sexuality or gender. So it's really important that we talk about these issues and, and make it clear that it's okay to be yourself. Gay That's OK was founded in 2015 and it's really based on uh, making sure football clubs are inclusive places and accepting places so people feel you know, comfortable being the people that they are. Um, we decided to use football as an avenue because growing up essentially it was a football club that Lachlan and I were involved in, you know, in Western Victoria that on one hand made me so happy and, and you know, really made my life so fulfilling but on the other hand the football club made Lachlan's life kind of hell because he couldn't be the person, he wasn't comfortable being the person that he was born into this world and that's why Go, Gay That's OK was founded and so far we've done a few country pride games at one at Melbourne University and they've been really successful in, you know, in telling the community stories about people who have struggled with their sexuality and you know how homophobia links into that and, and how football clubs can play a role in you know making sure that people feel accepted and included. Yeah! The Pride Games are an open place, an accepting place, a colourful place. They're places where you actually feel comfortable at the footy. It should be like that at every game. So you know, I really urge people to come to the Pride Game, whether it's the St Kilda Pride Game or Country Pride Games, because it showcases how football can be accepting and inclusive. And it's really a blueprint for how, you know, football clubs should behave week after week. And, you know, we, we need to open up our football clubs to everyone in our community and not to just a small portion of the community because we're, you know, we're a much richer place if we're all working together.